Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. What am I bringing to you today? Today I am bringing to you another paper crafting DIY, only this one is for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is just, oh, a few days away. And over the last few holidays, I've been bringing to you some quick, easy, budget-friendly paper crafting DIYs that you can either gift a loaf of bread in, gift a gift card in, and today it is going to be what you can gift some chocolates in. This is such a cute, budget-friendly, easy paper crafting DIY, and I just thought that it was such a fun one, and this is one that I am gifting to Allie and Kayla this Valentine's Day, and I'm gonna make a couple extra for Allie to gift out to her friends. Not making this for her whole class. We've got goodie bags that we actually put together from the Dollar Tree, because the Dollar Tree had so many cute, fun things for Valentine's Day, so I just stuck with Dollar Tree stuff for her class for Valentine's Day. But for Allie and Kayla, oh my goodness, aren't they stinking adorable? I love them. And what's great is that I put the Dollar Tree chocolate foiled hearts in them. Oh my word, I can hardly stand it. These are not my idea. These are not creations that I came up with on my own, but they are ones that I have seen on Pinterest and I put my own twist on. And because so many of you love paper crafting, Pinterest can be a bit hard to follow along because they're not really clear on what to do, how to do it, how to put it together, because it's a lot of times only pictures. And so, so many of you said you really enjoy me bringing to you these paper crafting DIYs and showing you step-by-step step how to put them together, because then it makes it a bit less intimidating, I think. These really are easy to do, especially if you follow along with me step-by-step. And they're quick, easy, and budget friendly. And the outcome is so stinking cute, I can hardly stand it. And so today I'm gonna to be showing you how I do these cute little Valentine's Day treat purses. Quick, easy, budget friendly. And it's gonna take you maybe 20 minutes to do the first one. After that, it's gonna take you five. Let's get to it. You are going to love this paper crafting DIY. I love it, it's so stinking cute. For this one, you're gonna need one solid piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. You, I feel like the best outcome for this comes when you use a solid piece of cardstock for your base and one printed piece. I found this at a Hobby Lobby in their open stock paper. I wish they would have had this print in 12 by 12, but they didn't. They seem to have cuter prints in the eight and a half by 11 than they did in the 12 by 12, but whatever, eight and a half by 11 there is still four for a dollar. You're not getting as much for your money as you are when you get the 12 by 12s, but that's okay. This is still stinking cute and I love it. So it's gonna work perfect for today's DIY. Because the cardstock is already eight and a half by 11, all we need to do is cut off a quarter of an inch because we need this to be eight and a quarter inches by 11. If you follow my paper crafting DIYs, you know that I use a scoring board. Again, if you don't have a scoring board, but you have a cutter, you can always get one of Dollar Tree's scoring and piercing tools. It comes in a two pack. It works great with your cutting board. You don't have to replace or remove your blade because you can very easily use this to score. If you don't have a scoring tool and you don't have a cutter, all you're gonna need is a ruler and the cap to a pen. These cap pens make for great scoring tools. They work perfectly and you can run it right along your ruler and it works perfect. On the long side of the paper, which is the 11 inch side, we're gonna score at two inches. Again, at five and a quarter inches. Seven and a quarter inches and at 10 and a half inches. We're gonna rotate our paper to the eight and a quarter inch side here. 
and we're gonna score at two. Again at six, and just an inch away at seven. So if you place your paper just like this, you've got this half inch scoring line piece here on the side, and then you've got, if you count these, you've got two, four, six, eight, ten squares or rectangles that were made when we scored. Now we've got this long piece and the half inch piece here. We're gonna leave these four and we are going to cut out right here these six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna cut these out. So these are the six that we just cut out that went here. So you're gonna be left with these two and this half inch piece here. This half inch piece, this one, two pieces, we're gonna cut out right along the scoring line again. Then we've got this half inch piece here. We're gonna leave this longer piece but down here, we're gonna cut off this smaller piece here. That is all the cutting that you're gonna need and this is what you should be left with. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna fold in all of our scoring lines. And so you can see here that we've pretty much got a box. This is the lid to our box. Down here is the bottom that we need to close up. So if you open this, we're gonna cut slits on each of these scoring lines here so we can fold them in. I'm gonna taper in my slits because I like to have nice clean edges on my bottom. I don't like my edges to stick out onto the side of the box. So if you just kind of slit your edges like a pizza, just taking a little piece out, you're gonna get real nice edges. And so again, this is what you should be left with. This next step is optional. If you have a corner rounder here on the flap, that's gonna close up your box. On these two corners, you can round your corners if you want, just to kind of round them off, smooth them out. If you don't have, have a corner rounder, don't worry about it. So before we put this together, we're gonna set this aside a minute. I'm gonna cut my pattern paper at three inches. Then we're gonna rotate it, we're gonna cut it at two and a half. And then we're gonna cut a one inch piece as well. Now this one inch piece on two of the corners, you're gonna wanna round the corners again if you rounded your corners. On the back side, we're gonna add some adhesive tape. This is a double-sided tape that the Dollar Tree is carrying by Crafter Square. If you can't find this tape, you can use Aileen's Tacky Glue. This is a great glue. It dries fast, it gets tacky fast, and it gives you a bit of wiggle room to kind of move your piece around if you don't have it right in the right spot. So I'm gonna add some on the sides here. And this is the same tape that comes in the ATG, the Advanced Tape Glider. The exact same tape. This is just a dispenser by Scotch and uh, I think it's great that Dollar Tree started carrying this because a lot of paper crafters use this and don't use the dispenser. So I think it's great that there's a budget-friendly alternative for a dollar and this tape works great. I've seen great results with it. I've been using it a lot lately because I wanna show you all that you don't need all the fancy tools to paper craft. You can get away with a lot of items that you can get at the Dollar Tree. And if your Dollar Tree doesn't have this Crafter Square double-sided tape, they do have like a Scotch tape dispenser that has double-sided tape. And so you can use that too. 
And that's another great alternative if you don't want to use the liquid glue, the tacky glue. I like, I like the tape because it's quicker, but I like the glue, like I said, because you've got the wiggle room to kind of move around. Okay, so now taking our box, if we close up our box, here is our flap. So on the outside of our flap here, if you open it back up, that's where we're gonna place this piece here. On this piece here, which is where you're gonna close your box, is where we're gonna place this piece. We're gonna open our box back up. We're gonna fold our flap in here and we're gonna add some tape there to close up our box. And you wanna put your tape as close to the fold as you can. And then you're gonna add some tape on the flaps down here and you're gonna do it right along the scoring line there, and you want to do a little piece right at the edge there on that flap, and then one on this flap, and on the bottom. And those are the only two flaps that you need to put tape on. And all we need to do is fold up our box now. On this inside flap here, I'm gonna take some of Dollar Tree's Valentine's Day Red Gingham Ribbon because I think that it is such a fun ribbon and it's gonna go nicely with this. It's gonna give it just a pop of color. And I'm going to hot glue it to, when you fold it to this part on the inside here, right in here is where we're gonna hot glue it. On the inside of this flap, using some of Crafter Square Velcro dots. If you have brads, you could use a brad for this. This would be perfect. I'm just trying to show you again some budget-friendly alternatives. Dollar Tree doesn't carry brads, which is kind of a bummer. I'm gonna place this Velcro dot on the inside of the flap there. Then we're gonna take and we're gonna kind of pinch in these edges here and push back the top, kind of giving us this look. But you don't wanna do it too hard. So then we're just gonna go ahead and close up our lid, just like so, and our Velcro is going to stick. So when we open it for the first time, you might need to be careful. Oh, it's good and stuck. That's just so you can get both placed nicely. So from here on out, you can just go ahead and close up this adorable little purse bag. How stinking cute is that? But wait a minute, we are not done. I feel like I need to do something to draw away from the fact that I placed the paper wrong. So should I put, yeah, I'm gonna put one of Dollar Tree's red glitter hearts here. And it does have some of that, but I'm gonna take it off because it doesn't stick very well. If you wanna use some of Dollar Tree's tape, you can. I'm just gonna hot glue it on. Right smack in the middle. And I think that this red glitter is like the perfect pop of color to this bag. I really like this a lot. And you know what, even though I messed up the pattern of the paper, my hearts are all going the same way, the lines are all going the same way, so that's okay. I think that this glitter heart kind of deflects. I love the ribbon to hold this with. How stinking cute is that? Now all that's left to do is to fill this fun little treat box with some of, oh my goodness, are you ready for this? 
these adorable Valentine's Day hearts that the Dollar Tree has. These are really stinking cute. They've got the silver and red foil in them. And um, yeah, this one only has one red in it. How funny is that? Maybe that's good luck. And so I think that this is just a fun little way to gift these hearts. We just took, oh, and you know what else? They even have these cute little hearts too. So maybe I'll add these to really fill it up. These are cookies and cream, that's fun. They're all heart related, so why not? And we'll just fill up this cute little, oh yeah, perfect. Give them a variety of chocolates. And for just a couple of dollars, we just made a quick, easy, budget-friendly way to gift some fun candy. And I think I got a little crazy though with the hearts because now it doesn't want to close. So it's probably better for Allie's teeth or Kayla's. I'm gonna give one to Ray too. See, these really are just good for guys, girls, only for Ray. I'm not gonna make it a purse. I'm just gonna make it the box. And look at how stinking cute that is. I only decorated the front. If you wanna add some to the back, you can. We've got plenty of scrapbooking paper left that we could do it with. I mean, we could just have hearts going every which way if we really wanted to. But really, the front is all that matters. These are such a fun little gift to give and to make. It really doesn't take much time at all. It's so budget friendly. I mean, really, you're gonna get more than one bag out of one piece of your decorative scrapbooking paper because look at what we have left still. Had I cut it right, you know, so you can make several bags with just one piece of decorative scrapbooking paper for 25 cents. And if you buy the recollections pack of cardstock from Michaels, you're gonna pay $2 for 50 sheets. And so definitely paper crafting is such a budget friendly way to DIY a homemade gift. And I think it's fun because it's actually gifting a gift in a way that people don't typically receive a gift or chocolates and I love these. Let me show you a couple more that I made. I made these adorable denim ones with the Dollar Tree stickers. How cute are these stickers? These are the pop-up stickers from the Dollar Tree that they're carrying right now. And uh, the denim is the denim paper pack that made my favorite find when I made the denim flower. Love the denim, it is so fun. I've even, I think, incorporated it into uh, Valentine's Day DIY this year, I might have. But how fun are these? I also made this cute one using the wood heart and the arrow from the Dollar Tree, more of the chalkboard look. Isn't that fun? And this was open stock paper at Hobby Lobby. I told you these are so easy to do out of one piece of cardstock you're gonna get multiple fronts to your faces I used a lot of fun Dollar Tree embellishments because they're there they're fun they're budget friendly and one pack is gonna go a long way and I think that this is just a fun little way to gift a little treat it's handmade, it's homemade, it's cute, and I think Allie and Kayla are gonna love it. I hope you all enjoyed today's Valentine's Day paper crafting DIY. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you leave down below, they really help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. And if you wanna see more of these paper crafting DIYs, you gotta leave me a comment because I go off of your feedback. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. No, happy paper crafting on a budget. And bye for now, everybody. <laughs>